All right, ladies, so it's time for a new wig. This is by Free Trust Equal, and this is their invisible side part, and this is a braid wig on top, as you see here, and this is called Straw Curl. There are no braids underneath the top layer or in the back. However, I'm going to rock this little semi-micro braid wig the best of my ability. So as you can see, it's the invisible side part curved, and there are combs in the front and also in the nape area along with the adjustable strap. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this baby on and just adjust her to where I'd like her to line up. And it really is invisible as you can see. There really, really is no part. But that's okay because at the end we're going to take care of all of that. So right about now I'm just looking around. As you can see on the side perimeters there are no braids which makes it really, really easy. I don't have to unbraid anything on the side because what I'm about to do, ladies, is make this wig look as realistic as possible. I want it to look like I have some type of micro braids in my own hair and not just a wig. So yes, let's get this started. I'm going to first go ahead and remove or pull out some of my hair on the sides which is going to be braided actually into this unit. So get yourself a great comb. I love the rat tail combs and pull out your side perimeter hairs, not necessarily baby hairs, but just side perimeter hairs in general. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to unbraid the front row of this micro braid wig now there is a little piece of hair entwined around the braid so you may want to cut that out or slip it out either way you want to pull that out and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and section each piece off pull some of my hair back and go ahead and commence to braiding away as you can see I've connected my own frontal hair that I pulled out along with the hairs that I've unbraided in the frontal area of this unit this is really an easy task like I said there's really not much hair to to unbraid you don't need to go into the other rows because it's just a little bit in the front portion and the sides are already unbraided for you so you want to just continue doing that all along the front perimeter of your hair from the front to each side you want to go ahead and braid your hair in tiny micro braids into this actual unit now as you can see I'm already done with that I went off camera and did that and now I'm going to take some of my concealer and try to make somewhat of a part which is very visible you really can't tweeze this wig because you would be tweezing away the braids so just do your best with a little bit of concealing and like I said this is a great wig you can place it in a high ponytail all you really need to do is make sure that you're concealing some of the tracks I did see one of the visible tracks but I really like this wig because it's so unique it's it's different and it just reminds me of back in the days but for this particular style I'm gonna just do something like this throw it over the part and conceal it okay ladies so if you're asking me what do I think about this wig I'm gonna say it is bomb.com okay go free trust equal so this is the straw curl it's called straw curl and I got a color OP 1B 30 um, so the whole concept of this is like those micro mini micro braids now I will tell you this there's not a lot of braids in this unit they basically sit right on the top so it has the appearance or the illusion of braids however the hair is gorgeous like simply gorgeous it does come in an array of colors like burgundy blue black blonde and 1b 1b number two number four 430 it comes in an array of colors and I'm gonna tell you guys this this wig is absolutely gorgeous I don't really do too many braid wigs This is the second one that I've done um, um, with sisterwigs.com the first one was the Senegalese twist which I absolutely loved I braided that wig on my head just taking out some of the twists in the front and blending it with my own hair I wore that wig for like a week straight because I really was not up to taking the braids out of my hair plus it was just so easy to rock so I just decided to keep it on so I'm about to do the same thing with this one because I did put a bunch not a lot but a bunch of micro braids in the front of my hair um, I did unleash some of the hairs in the frontal area and blend them into my own now I will tell you this I'm not really fond of the part in this unit because you really can't see it so there's really no need for a part in this wig at all if you want to rock a wig with micro braids that look like a micro braid hairstyle 
unleash some of the hairs in the front there are a lot of hairs on the side that are already unbraided for you so like I said they're basically like right here the braids so you can easily just braid your own hair from the sides but in the frontal area you will need to unleash some of them to hold the hair in place it has like some hair twisted around it if you can even see that what I did was I took it and I just pulled it down downward you can actually slip it out of the hair so that way you don't actually see it and it really doesn't take anything away from the hair the hair is not going to unravel but if you want to do that then that's fine you can cut it if you want but just be really really careful color blend is really pretty so there's not a lot of 30 in it but that's okay because I just really like the hair the way it is it's beautiful it's curly and I've been wanting some micro braids for the longest but I tell you what I'm not about to sit there for hours on end and get them in my head and also I'm not about to sit there and remove them from my head now, the one thing that I wasn't too happy about though with this unit is you can see the track right here on the opposite side you really can't see it so maybe I just got a bad wig however that's fine I did want to put it up in a ponytail so if you want to put it up in a ponytail um, you're really going to need to make sure you camouflage it if yours comes like this but other than that I'll just wear it downwards because I really do like the style of this um, and it is an invisible L part and they are daggone right about that there's no part that you can basically see but the length is perfect the style is perfect the hair texture is beautiful it looks just like our own hair texture so it's not all silky straight or anything and it's not kinky curly either but it is a really gorgeous unit so there's so many different styles you could do with this I think it's really cute if you was to just put it up in a ponytail and rock it you know what I mean like it was your own extension braids girls just camouflage that part a little I'm bit press with free trust because they are coming out with like a whole bunch of styles that are catering to those who are natural hair sisters but yeah so this wig is like really inexpensive on sisterwigs.com I am loving it Woo, loving it she is fly hunty gorgeous hunty so this is like a really cute style so I will post all of sister wigs information down below if you want some really really inexpensive makeup you want to build up your makeup collection you can check their sister site out which is sister21.com which caters to nothing but beauty needs from hair care products also to tons and tons and loads of makeup um, from NYX to LA Girl to LA Colors to ELF to just about everything clean colors they have a lot of makeup so build up your makeup game so as always all the information will be posted for you girls below let me know what you think of straw curl and I will be back and I'll see you girls soon on my next video